sometimes the last mile is the longest one. Gas stations in the UK running dry this week with the blame lying mostly on the shortage of truck drivers to deliver fuel. The driver shortage, which existed before the pandemic, is only getting worse, and that means it's getting more expensive and taking longer to get goods and fuel to retailers and consumers. XPO Logistics runs the world's second biggest truck brokerage business with more than 12,000 drivers. But that's not enough to keep up. They're hiring about 50 truckers a week and training even more. Matt Fassler is Chief Strategy Officer with XPO Logistics, and he joins me now. Matt, it's great to have you here. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Can you explain, you know, just kind of looking back on your own career, have you ever seen anything like this worldwide? Uh, it's a unique time in lots of ways. Obviously, the freight transportation marketplace is stressed. We're obviously very busy bringing our customers capacity, bringing them the visibility that they so dearly want at a moment like this. And we're doing it by deploying technology across our business to drive that transparency and to drive efficiency uh, on behalf of those shippers. When I've looked at the numbers, I've seen that Britain is short of basically, you know, uh, let's say it has 80,000 drivers, but it's short 20,000 of them or something like that, like a quarter of the workforce it needs to fill right now. Is that about right in terms of the size and scale of the problem we're talking about? And how does that compare to other countries? It's definitely a significant issue. Driver shortages are, are an issue in the U.S. as well. And I think if you look broadly at the service economy, uh, it's a very, very tight employment market. Obviously, as, as you said in the lead-in, we're extremely focused on recruiting and training new drivers, not only in the UK, but also in the US. We have driver schools for our less than truckload business in the US. We're substantially increasing the number of graduates from those schools. And we're taking extraordinary steps to raise our, our recruiting bar. And, and so far, that's been a successful effort. Yeah, and uh, now I'm going to ask you about your career in trucking. Now I realize you worked at Goldman for 26 years before you came to the business. But still, you know, we've all been watching uh, these boom and bust cycles for quite some time, and I don't think ever seen it come to a head quite like this. Uh, to what extent is the pandemic uh, a big part of the problem? To what extent is it just the fact that the network itself is trying to keep up with demand snapping back more strongly than the supply chain? And what are the is it just going to be wages that ultimately entice people into being truck drivers? Or are we literally going to have to try to wait for some kind of autonomous driving to bail us out of this crisis? There's a few different elements here. You're right that the pandemic is at the root of the challenge that we're facing. Obviously, much of the world economy shut down. It then came roaring back with a vengeance. Consumer spending obviously was very strong emerging from the pandemic. And there's only so much capacity to move those goods. The pipes are only so big. And, and as such, you're seeing a, a graduate, you're seeing a rapid ramp of inventory back into the channel. And that's taken some time. I think the solution really is in, in part the passing of the pandemic, more and more people making their way back into the workforce. We're starting to see that transpire. And also, I think it's up to each provider, it's up to each company, each shipper uh, to do their best to bring drivers into their network. And again, our efforts in doing so, uh, which have been underway for some time, uh, have been successful. And our customers, I think, are starting to see uh, the benefit of that. So, Matt, let, let's pretend this is, you know, congressional testimony or something where, you know, I, I can imagine we could get to that point if these things get worse, if the U.S. starts experiencing, you know, problems with truckers moving around fuel and that kind of thing. If they say to you, is this almost over? Is it about to be resolved or are we going to be facing chronic issues like this for months or even years time? What, what would you say about what the, the next six to 12 months hold? I think the issues that on the issues that you raised, I think we're starting to see resolution. Again, we at XPO are controlling what we can control, and we're making terrific headway against these challenges. But as the world normalizes in many ways, and particularly as people make their way uh, back into the workforce, I think you're going to see these issues resolve themselves. The supply chain uh, will clear up. But again, right now, it's essential that companies like XPO that have capacity, that have visibility, that have the technology to help our shippers and our customers uh, achieve their goals in a tight freight market uh, are definitely helping the world get where it needs to go. Yeah, I can imagine it's more important than ever. Matt, thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Matt Fassler with XPO.